Jeffrey Feldman is tasked with a difficult mission, one that has failed every time so far since the beginning of this war. There is increasing international pressure to find a negotiated settlement to the conflict, which has left thousands dead and displaced almost three million. But when we look at what's happening on the ground, it does not seem like any party to the conflict is willing to step away from their military targets. On Thursday, buses full of soldiers were leaving the capital towards the north, where Tigrayan and Orobo rebels uh, are said to be joining forces and envisioning an advance uh, to Addis Ababa. So far, they are still over 300 kilometers away from the city. Uh, Tigrayan forces are trying to advance east towards the road leading uh, from Djibouti to Addis Ababa. The conflict has definitely taken, taken another dimension as of last weekend, when Tigrayan rebels secured major towns in the Amhara region. They started uh, taking control of parts of Amhara last July and said the move is a response to a humanitarian blockade imposed on Tigray uh, by the government. But Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said the TPLF had terrorist agendas and that his forces would soon uh, secure victory. Civilians are continuing to join the battle after a call to arms uh, by the Ethiopian government. The Oromo Liberation Army, which is now uh, fighting alongside Tigrayan forces, said it was a matter of months if not weeks before the rebel groups would reach the capital, whether this goal is achievable in the near future and whether this priority is really shared by Tigrayan forces remains to be seen.